In honor of Sabrina Carpenter's new song, Espresso, I wanted to teach you how to make espresso aka colada in cuban culture i've worked with cubans and they've taught me the tips and tricks on how to make colada like super delicious and creamy so let's get started let me just show you the few things that you'll need so you'll need one of these i don't know what this is called but this is just the cuban good old-fashioned stove top like espresso maker i like to use this i got it at navarro and then the two secret ingredients is cafe ustelo you can also use cafe la llave but i like cafe ustelo a little bit more you'll need some sugar preferably white and then this is optional but this little two-in-one spoon and packer thing so this one is the emusa one this one's a really big one typically i use this one i got it from walmart you can see it's like half the size but we're gonna show you with this one the only thing you really need to understand is that it comes in three parts so this little part we're gonna work with first this is pretty much where all the water goes in and you're just gonna fill it up until underneath the valve and you can see it inside just fill it up underneath like the valve right there then I get this little filter I put it inside and this is where we're gonna pack the espresso I just get my little packer thing and then put it in there and as I go I use the bottom part to pack it down each time I put in some I just pack a little bit in there so it should be looking I spilled so much espresso just pack it in you know just lightly just a little tap and it should be looking flat once you start reaching the top just gently pack it in because it's gonna probably spill and you're gonna probably make a mess the same way that i do so once you reach like the top of it just leave like a little bit of space just don't over pack it because we need to get this top part and twist it and make sure it's sure to tight it really tight so it keeps it nice and compressed and pressurized inside now just put it on your stove top and put it at like the highest possible setting and just let it sit there so as we're waiting for that to start heating up just get a teaspoon the little cup and then your white sugar i like to use two it feels right it kind of depends on how sweet you like your espresso to be um but two is kind of like the sweet spot for me but if i'm doing a larger batch like at work i usually do three when it's brewing pay attention and get like the first few drops that come out because it's the most like strong it's the most concentrated and it makes the best like little frothing so you're gonna get the first few drops preferably and your little cup and just put a little bit because what we're gonna do is we're gonna make like a little espumita like foam you kind of want to get it to be starting out something like this but you're gonna keep like frothing it over and over and you could just mix the spoon like this and it's gonna thicken up and turn like a lighter color. You're gonna just go at this for like a few minutes. It's gonna take a while. And just a little tip, if it's too liquidy, add a little bit more sugar. And if it's too thick, just add like a little bit of espresso. This is kind of like how I like it to be when it drops, it's thicker. Um, and then the color is something like that. Now is the part where you put some of the espresso in, not all of it, just enough to start mixing it all in. So I fill it like halfway and then I just start mixing it. Once it's all mixed in, I put in all of the espresso in. And then this is what it should look like. So you see the foam on the top and then the espresso on the bottom. And now to serve the espresso, it's pretty simple. You just pour it into a cup. I always use this one as a cute little espresso cup. But just for viewing purposes, I don't drink anymore. But I'm going to show you in a shot glass. This is for my 21st birthday and just be careful if you do it in a glass because it's very hot but i'm gonna pour a little bit in there and you're gonna see how the top of it has that little foam but what i like to do whenever i'm serving it to other people is that in this cup i grab like the top portion of the espumita and then i pour it in so you can see the espumita there and then all the espresso on the bottom and people usually have like the little white little cups but i like to drink a lot so i fill this up maybe like halfway like this way in my case i'm just gonna pour it in this is my little espresso so this is a very simple video on how to make cuban espresso aka colada i hope you guys enjoyed and i'm gonna be enjoying this so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video